God living on the inside of you. I can explain it this way. Well, I don't have a big bottle here. Let me take a look. So I went to the ocean. I scooped up this ocean water and I say, I've got all the ocean in this bottle. There's ocean in this bottle. Now all the fish are going to die. You look at me and think. Meet me, O Lord, in thy righteousness. 
because my enemies think thy way straight before my face. But let all those that put their trust in thee, put their trust in thee, rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. Pastor Walson has said, you don't know the times that you have been protected. Right. I know some of those times, but I know I don't know them all. I do know a time that I got lost in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at 17, and I got down into the bad part of town. And believe me, I know what the bad part of town is because I come from St. Louis, Missouri area. And I knew I was in trouble. And I stopped at a McDonald's to ask for directions because McDonald's is banned in restaurant, right? I thought it would be safe. But there were some guys there that was in a gang. And I know gang members. Remember, I've been surrounded by Hell's Angels and everything else in St. Louis. And I was like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. So I walked out and I said, Lord, protect me. Please help me. And they were following me. We came around the corner and they said, Who's that man standing by the car? I thought she was all alone. And I'm looking. I do not see a man standing by the car. They do. They say, oh my goodness, that's the biggest dude I've ever seen. And is that a sword he's got? Oh, I'm not messing with that dude. And they turn around and ran. So I get in the car and I'm thinking, hmm, well, thank you, Lord. I didn't see it, but they did, so I'm thinking they're... They're uh, on drugs and they're hallucinating, but whatever, God, you saved me. So I go to this, I go to past this uh, gas station and there's this elder black man there and the place is boarded and the Lord said, stop and ask for directions. And I'm like, oh, oh Lord, on me, I'm not stopping there. And I pass it and the Lord said, I said, stop, turn around and ask him for directions. So I turned around, and he came out, I had my window rolled down like this. <laughs> and I was shaking, and he said, I'm lost. As he's coming out, he says, no, what you doing here? Don't you know, just two blocks away, there was a white girl killed just like you? And he's walking up, and then he's, he stops, and he looks, oh, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't see you. Uh, hey, this dude is definitely not high or anything, he's working, and I'm looking. So he gives me directions and he says, now, sir, do not bring her back in this part of town again. <laughs> okay. And he turned around and walked off. And I'm like, hmm. I've got an angel with me. Woo! And I drove to, to conference and boy, did I have a time. I've seen my angel in a couple instances. Somebody was breaking into my house. The Lord woke me up and said, Get on your knees. You and your daughter are in more mortal danger. She was six months old. Kristen wasn't even thought of. There wasn't even a twinkle in my eye. So I rolled out of bed and I started praying. Somebody drove up, was trying to get in my house. And me being little thing, I go get the gun we have in the closet. And I'm trying to put the bullets in. I mean, I have never been this scared. And all my, I was shaking so bad. I couldn't hold it. The thing, you get bullets in, and I'm like, oh God, please help me get a bullet in. I finally got a bullet in, slapped it closed. It was a, it was like a, revolver. yeah, it was a revolver. Yeah. Uh, 22 Magnum yeah. and a 22 regular. There was two different magazines. I knew which one was what. I took the Magnum, believe me. I know the other ones can bounce off your head. I wasn't going to let it bounce. <laughs> so I go to the door. I got this one little tiny bullet, right? And I'm pointing it at the door, and I'm so scared. I'm going, Jesus! <laughs> and when I said Jesus, they dropped what they had. They took off. Get us out of here! Somebody's after me! He jumped in the car. They screeched, Preach! I call. I, I didn't have a phone. I, I I waited until morning. I walked to my mom's house two blocks away. I told her we called the police. Please come up. Said, ma'am, I don't know. I feel like they were going to kill you. And he says, but I don't know what happened. Something scared him because I can see the feet running. I see a great big place where they screeched off. But you are lucky. There must have been somebody watching over you because all they had to do was just 
so one more jerk and the door would have been open. They had a tire iron and they were prying my door open. He will keep you. He will protect you. He will keep you from falling back into your sin. He will lift you up and he will raise you on a higher level. And he will give you everything that you want if you just believe him.